Good afternoon, Pastor David. It is, isn't it? Church family, welcome to Unfiltered. We're going to do something different, Pastor. Uh, church family, today this is going to be a brief video because what we want to do is change the format a little bit. Uh, Tuesdays we would talk, normally talk about current events, but beginning now, since you'll be down the road in Ephesians on our Wednesday evening service, you'll start teaching, doing a series, a series of marriage, yeah. on marriage and the family. Mm -hmm. So I want to start teasing that out. So we would do brief snippets uh, to introduce our Thursday topic, which will be a little bit more, not long, but a, a little bit more in a depth interview on the specific topics regarding marriage and the family. So today, Pastor, I wanted to just give our audience, or those who are viewing, just a brief uh, importance of the importance of the family, importance of the Christian family. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Is the Christian family important? You know, I've been sharing recently that out of the book of Malachi, when God says that he hates divorce, he spoke concerning what marriage was. He said, I have this against you. You're divorcing the wives of your youth and all of that. But he goes into sharing how important marriage is, but he made it he made a very strong statement that I think sometimes the church fails to remember, and, and that is that he spoke concerning the fact that he wanted godly offspring. Mm -hmm. So part of the purpose of a, of a family of faith is the transmission of that faith to the offspring. And because God had a plan for, for uh, humanity and this plan is gonna span centuries, well, there is in his plan there was a um, an intent to communicate the faith to the children who in turn would do the same. So in, in marriage, because marriage is the union of a man and a woman and is, uh, it is God's plan through that union that they should um, uh, multiply and replenish the earth as he says in the book of, of Genesis, um, God's intention is in marriage, seeing that he's the author, creator of it, that, um, that two should be joined together to become the one, that they should produce children who worship and fear him and walk in his ways, and that these children should communicate the same to their children. And so generationally, God has a, 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 a people that are called after his name. And so marriage is that... Uh, incredibly important um, foundation that I believe the church has failed to understand in terms of its importance. Tomorrow I'll be sharing out of Ephesians, for example, chapter 4, and or rather chapter 5, and I'll be sharing a little bit about where Paul makes the statement that certain things should not be found amongst the brethren there at the, the church of Ephesus. And Ephesus was a city that was known for its sexual immorality and debauchery. And so this uh, sexual parasitism, fornication, let it not be named, even mentioned as being part of the, the, the family of God here in the church, right? And so there's an intent, you know, that God would have for, for the family to be intact and pure, that it should have a holiness that's involved in it, and that there should be a sexual purity amongst the people of God. All of these things are found throughout Scripture from Genesis to the Revelation. You know, God invents marriage, if you will, creates it in chapter 3 of Genesis. In the last chapter of the book of Revelation, he, he makes it very clear that fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. I mean, so it's very clear that God had a plan for mankind and he says outside of the kingdom are the dogs and the sorcerers and fornicators i mean he includes that within the confines of those who are not allowed into the kingdom and the apostle paul made it very clear in first corinthians in chapter six that uh, that we were to have uh proper relationships within the confines of of our marriages and all and we'll be seeing that we'll be looking at that in detail and so what I'd, uh, on Thursday, that's the topic I'd like to introduce in a, in a little bit more in depth to ask questions about that. That would give us some insight in the Christian marriage and family as you begin this series. Yeah. And so this was a teaser, church friends and family, uh, tune in on Thursday as we will uh, have a little bit more of an interview style. 
and asking particular questions of the importance of the Christian family, marriage and, marriage and the family. And hopefully they'll be with us tomorrow because yes. I'll be sharing on uh, uh, on that, the subject that is going to end up with looking at uh, wives, husbands, children, etc. So church family, come on out at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, correct? Chapter 5, yeah. Yes, and so it's a great opportunity to invite friends and family. And then join us again for our Sunday morning services at 8.30 and 10.45. And again, we look forward to Thursday as we uh, dive a little bit deeper in this. And, and a good uh, a good teaser would even come to service tomorrow evening. In Love here. to have them. And so, That'd be great. Pastor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you on see you tomorrow night. Hopefully. And we'll see you on Thursday. All right. God bless you.